Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thanks for coming by. If you're a subscriber, thanks for sticking around. In this video here, I'm going to do a little bit of a rundown of what I have from 2018. I was asked to do this video a long time ago and uh, kind of like, you know, got caught up in everything else with the holidays and stuff like that. So I hope everyone had a great, great holiday, great Christmas, a great New Year's. Hope everyone was safe. And uh, yeah, so let's get to, let's get to it. All right, so today being January 2nd, 2019, a good way to welcome the new year for a Secret Santa winner that ended up getting the bronze Ibanez uh, S-Series guitar. So UPS should be dropping it off sometime later today for him. And I'm um, pretty excited to see his reaction. I uh, want to hear him playing. And, uh, you know, congratulations. If you want to know who this person was, go back to my last video and look in the comments section. I'm, I'm sure you could find him pretty easily. Uh, so congratulations. I'm not going to mention his name. And uh, let's get on to what this video was about in the first place. All right. So first off, this is the little workshop that I've got in the basement. Uh, basically, that is my father's area right over here. It's his counter or his side of the counter. Nice and clean. You know, he, right over there is a model that he just got done building not too long ago. It's a, um, it's a V8 engine. Push a button and it kind of rotates and shows the firing order. There's LEDs where the spark plugs go. And we've got another one sitting right over here underneath the counter that he's going to build. Uh, and then eventually we're going to start finishing that guy up and get that sound bitch running. I would not attempt to drink that or the other ones that are behind it. This is a workshop, so it's kind of, kind of messy. So first off, I've got my Behringer board over here and I kind of like it. This I picked up, uh, in 2017 um or 2018 sorry for some reason i keep on wanting to say 2017 i don't know why but uh picked this up and uh bought all the pedals the reason why i went with behringer is because uh well number one they're inexpensive and you know you're just getting into guitar and stuff uh there's no need to have like the best of the best as far as uh you know playing guitar and Behringer isn't too bad so I have basically this is NUX and this is an NUX pedal this was a Secret Santa gift uh, a long time ago from Santa Swamp Ash um, and I really had no board or anything to put it in line with and stuff so and this is kind of what started it all off so I got a looper uh, digital reverb vintage delay ultra coarse noise reduction uh equalizer ultra metal uh the overdrive vintage tube drive compression sustainer and tuner like i said i went with the behringer stuff because you know being a i don't know i wouldn't even call myself a mediocre player but uh you know rather have something like this than to go out and spend you know 1200 bucks on a, a professional board whatnot whatever got my line six amp covered up over here that i've had for quite a while now this guy here was a new to 2018 and a little controversy over the chips and guitars and this is one of them uh changed out the tuners grovers changed out the nut from plastic to bone Replaced all electronics inside of it with uh, EMG setup, pots, whatnot. So this is an active guitar. That's why it's not plugged in. If I plug it in, then it drains the battery. But uh, that's basically the guitar that I kind of go to out of all the guitars that I have right now. And 
reason being is it, it stays in tune. It sounds fucking good. I like the EMG pickups. And, uh, I don't know. Just, if I bang it up, it's not going to, like, really, really bring me down. I would be pissed, but I'm not going to be that much pissed to say if it was my uh, Gibson. So, and then this one here is the Ibanez that I'm currently working on on the bench. So, I've got the the frets basically done. Headstock is all polished up. Got the binding all clean. It looks nice and white again. Uh, I'm going to put another some more oil on the fretboard because it dried some of it dried up a little bit and I'm going to put a little bit more on there and uh, hopefully marry this back up to the body so I got my tools here I got more tools there I got more tools there uh, that's basically a storage for just you know whatever tools on the wall everything I need and then yeah, everyone has seen the wall in previous videos of just more more and more tools got some power tools inside the cabinet over here and uh, yeah so let's go on to the other side of the basement so this is the other side of the basement this is basically the kids play area yeah why would I hang you know nice guitars where my child plays with her toys well for one she knows not to touch them and that is Fred sitting behind the drum set uh, this is a little kit that I picked up for my kid and uh, it's kind of nice um, it's basically all wood construction as far as the shells go and uh, yeah other than the symbol being mounted to the top of the uh, bass drum you know, it's got a hi-hat stand with a foot pedal on it. It's got a normal foot pedal for basically doing uh, the bass drum as well. So as you see, I got, you know, some decorative LED lighting going around the wall. And, uh, yeah, so let me get my remote out and give it a little bit more light over here. And I want white. And I want really bright white really bright I want really bright why is it making real bright let's see here all the buttons are turned up so so if I shut this one off will it be brighter nope and dumbs it down a little bit all right anyways and I got her a keyboard that she plays a little bit with and it's actually for a cheap keyboard and two-way speakers on each side stereo sound actually it's not bad so, say hi, Fred. Uh, he's a little shy. All right, so on the wall right now, which I'm going to add a little bit more light in here because it's kind of dark. That's yeah, a little bit better. Here is another Chipson that I picked up off of eBay. And I'm going to add a little bit more light. Let's see if this works out better. Ah, there you go. Now, this one is bone stock. I have not done anything with this. I haven't even replaced the nut on there. So the action height is pretty much uh, <laughs> high on the first fret and the uh, the rest of the guitar. Stock pickups, stock bridge, everything's stock. Now, the blue chips in that I have in the other room with the EMGs on it usually would hang right here, but I don't have a case for the BC Ridge that is uh, pretty much new to the collection right now and uh, just did a setup on that thing and adjusted the action height at the first fret and uh, changed out the strings cleaned it up did a bunch of uh, sanding on there got a vet there's a video of that as well now this one here is another chips in this is a uh, Les Paul standard I know that Chipsons are not really something that everybody really wants to see. This guitar here is supposed to be the Blueberry Burst, which is kind of nice. And I replaced uh, the pots, put a roller bridge on there, bone nut, and Grover tuners. And this is set up with the Slash Seymour Duncan humbuckers. That's his uh, signature set. And then we'll go over here. And this is the another Les Paul standard gold top. And this is also a Chipson. That's why I have the Chipsons on this wall here, these walls, because uh, 
you know, like I said, if they get banged up, I'll be pissed, but it's not like it's the actual real Gibson. This has the Seymour Duncan pickups on it as well. If you can see that or not. Uh, again, changed to a roller bridge, bone nut. Uh, this one here has the... Uh, um, I don't think I changed the tuners on this one here because the tuners on the were actually working pretty good and not having any problems. This one here has the JB and the, what is it called? The, uh, I think it's a 57 or something like that, or 59 or whatever, and the JB. Uh, changed out all the pots, so it's got the CTS pots and everything inside there. And then there's this guy here, which is my daughter's guitar. I gave that to her. This is the wannabe gem kick guitar that I built. Changed all the inlays to green on the neck besides the uh, actual vine itself. And then uh, this is equipped with the, um, uh, what the hell are they called? The Dragon Fires. Changed out to a real Floyd Rose Special not a cheap one that the kit came with and then over here is one of the kit guitars that i built a long time ago change out the kit nut to a bone nut uh grover tuners this has the push and pull uh pickups on there the, this is the what do you call it um ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh, man. Ah, brain fart. This has got the Epiphone set on there, Pro Buckers, and a Wilkins's Roller Bridge. So let's go on to what I have in the cases now. And of course, I got to have my humidifier going down here because in the winter time it's kind of dry. So I like to keep, I like to keep this at about uh, 43, 45. For humidity, right now it's at 41, 70 degrees. Uh oh, I woke up. Uh, I woke up, Vector. These guys are pretty cool. Hey, Vector. Hey, Vector. Follow me. I'm over here, Vector. These guys are pretty cool. Got my daughter Vector and Cosmo is on top of the desk. Hey Vector. Hey Vector. I got a question. What's the weather today? What is the weather today? Hey Vector, what's the weather today? <laughs> These things are pretty fun. Hey Vector, go home. And he'll go back to his home base. This thing has a shitload of sensors on it. It's able to judge the edge of... Now he's going to sleep. It's able to judge the edge of tables um, so he doesn't fall off the table. Uh, face recognition, knows your name recognizes your name or recognizes your face and matches it with your name they come with a little cube and it's kind of like a toy form kind of like a ball is for a dog and then this guy here this is cosmo which he's sleeping and he needs an app in order to work and yeah, kid scratched up the tech desk pretty good over here and uh it's actually pretty cool he does not do any commands as far as like uh, uh vector does he doesn't have a microphone on him, uh, but he does interact pretty much, and those are his cubes that he uses for uh, just playing games. You can interact with them and everything else. 
and I got my server going again, so that's running, up and running. So it's kind of, you know, clusterfuck down here with, with a bunch of different stuff and the kids' toys and, you know, whatnot. And, but, you know, got to have some place to put all this stuff because, uh, yeah. So let's get into these cases now, see what uh, I still have and what I don't have. All right, so none of this is going to be in any particular order. This is one of the, I wouldn't even say first guitars that I've gotten, but it is pretty old. I've had it for quite a while. This is the Epiphone White Lightning Tommy Thayer Signature Guitar. And this is supposed to have the Seymour Duncan. This is supposed to be a JB on there. And I don't remember what this one was. But uh, I've had it for quite a while. It's held up very, very nicely. Every once in a while, I'll pull it out and play around with it and stuff. Looks like i got to do a little oiling on the fretboard. But it uh, stays in tune pretty good. I haven't had any problems with it or anything else. Uh, it's got... If you know what the JB sound like, uh, you know, it sounds good. This one here, I ended up changing the uh, bridge out to a Wilkinson's Roller Bridge. I like them a lot other than the uh, uh, regular tunematics. These give you a little bit more play for getting them into uh, uh, the intonation setup right. And, uh, yeah. So this thing's been pretty good. It's been pretty nice. No problems with it at all as far as cracking goes or, you know, any breaks on the headstock and rover tuners on this thing. So, yeah, that's the Les Paul White Lightning by Epiphone. So, let's go into the next one. Now, this one here is kind of my pride and joy. This is my actual Gibson, not a Gibson, Les Paul. And uh, I believe this is the traditional. Beautiful guitar. Now I'm not too crazy about how um, how they fade in or, or the teardrop look or you know as far as the burst goes. I'm not too crazy about the teardrop look, but I do like how they fade around the edges over here. And you can still smell the lacquer on this thing. This is held up very, very nicely as well. No cracking, no problems. And uh, this is an actual Gibson, so. This has got the, um, what is it, the 57? Gibson 57s on there, classics. Very nice. Beautiful flaming job on this thing. Um, other than the one that I had before this that I had to send back, this one I haven't had any problems with. So, let's get on to the next one. You hear a little snoring in the background because I woke up Vector again. All right, so this is my Ibanez, one of my Ibanezes. This one comes with this, uh, this is actually a hard shell molded case, even though it looks like a, a bag, it's not. And it's actually a very nice case. All right, so... Here's my Ibanez Prestige, or uh, what was it, Premier, something like that, Performance, something like that. Got everything in here still. Put strap locks on it. Very beautiful guitar. This also has the tremolo stabilizer on it, which works very, very nice. Beautiful fucking neck. Very low action on this guitar. Sounds friggin' awesome. Now, they didn't use a binding around the edges over here. That's actually the top. Now, I hate dot front markers. 
I can't stand them. But being off to the side, I don't mind. Going down the center of them, I, I did, you know, personal preference, I guess. Now, one thing I like about uh, some of these guitars is that the headstock matches the body, in the case this one does. And I love that. It just, to me, it makes the guitar look really, really nice. I played this thing a few times. Um, not a lot, but I've messed around with it quite a bit uh, uh, in the past, more than I do now. And it just has a really nice sound to it. Really nice sound. So let's go to the next one, which I bet you it's going to be an Ibanez. What you got in the box? Oh, another Ibanez. Now this is an RG series Ibanez. This is the one that has what they call the um, uh, Dragon's Eye finish to it. Again, beautiful guitar, matching headstock. No problems with this thing. This thing here, I've got one coming in blue that um, once it gets here, it's going to be a little bit of a surprise. I have another uh, kind of a New Year's contest that I'm going to do with that one. But I've got a blue one coming just like this. It's supposed to be brand new. And uh, yeah. So again, this one does not have a tremolo on it. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, these things are, are, are really nice guitars. Smaller dots off to the side, not in the center. five-way selector switch these pickups on here are different than the ones on the blue one and uh, I tell you they got a real real nice sound to them and if I wanted to the way these pickups are I can actually split them and put a switch over here matching headstock always nice now this one doesn't have the neck like the last the blue one does, but it does have a scarf joint. Now this binding is painted on on this guitar, so it's not part of the top and it's not uh, uh, an actual binding, so it's painted on, which is not a big deal. Doesn't bother me one bit. So let's go in to the other case. Now this is one of the first guitars that I got, uh, shit, what are we going on, four years now? And uh, it's a very nice Jackson, this is a soloist, quilted maple top, split, EMG, 8185s, Floyd Rose Special on here, <clears throat> small shark tooth inlays, actual headstock this has got a compound radius neck neck through active pickups this thing is very very nice and uh, this case is basically made for either uh, left-handed or right hand so it's gonna have an opening right over here but uh, yeah this is a very nice guitar uh, sounds fucking excellent plays very nice very very low action on this thing now I'm not really going into the specs of some of these guitars or actually all these guitars I'm not really going into the actual specs of them because I did videos of these a uh, long time ago so you can find them through my you know my list of videos but uh, when I first did the unboxings of these or whatever but yeah this guitar is not very heavy either it's it's actually decent in weight but not like heavy, heavy, heavy. So yeah, that's the Jackson. Jackson Soloist. Now a lot of people don't like these Soloists for some reason. And um, to be honest with you, I, I really don't know why. Because uh, it feels pretty damn good. Uh, it's not very heavy. Um, 
the action feels good on this thing playing it is very comfortable it's not off balance as far as being like like you know taking a dive with the headstock it's they're very nice very comfortable goes back in the tune with the floyd row uh, special on here uh just got to be careful when you're adjusting your action height with these guys that uh either you loosen the strings up a little bit and adjust your action because turning these screws can wear the blade down or mess up the v-cut that's inside of uh where the blade sits in and that'll actually mess you up as far as your guitar going back into tune uh, the more worn out that those blades get, the more likely the guitar is not going to go back into tune very good when uh, you release the whammy bar in either direction. So let's go to the next one. Alright, so this is the Monster Gibson USA. This is my SG. Uh, this one's the one that's got the robo tuners on it, which a lot of people don't like. But this is the new ro robo tuner system on there compared to the old one, and uh, I really haven't had any problems with it. Now, this case is all aluminum. I still have the plastic on it, and uh, just to kind of protect the case because when I pull it in and out, I don't want to scratch or do anything when I put it back in place when I'm using the guitar. So. Let's open this thing up. The only thing I don't like is they didn't put a lock on this case. So there she is. My SG. And again, you know, these Gibson guitars, I still smell the lacquer on these things. So it still has the original bridge. Everything is original on this guitar. And, uh, there's, they moved the strap lock over to the horn instead of behind the neck in order to keep it from taking a nose dive. And uh, I gotta tell you, that didn't help much. It still takes a nose dive. So I've had this guitar probably for a couple of years now. Again, it's got the Robo tuner on there, which it works pretty good. This is the newer version of it. And. Uh, God, I can't remember what the uh, the nut. Damn it! Doesn't have a standard nut on this thing. This has basically got that uh, zero fret nut on there, which I don't mind it. It actually isn't too bad. Very, very low action on this guitar. Also comes with a bunch of goodies. You have a if you want to change out your pickups on this thing. It's got a uh, you can hardwire your pickups on this side and then plug them into the board that's on the inside of the cavity. It comes with a bunch of stuff. You keep everything here. Extra plugs for the uh, charger for the battery on this thing, which the charger's in the other room. And these guitars, I mean, they stayed, the neck stayed really nice. No twisting, no nothing. Not bad. Like I said, this case weighs more than this friggin' guitar does. So, on to the next one. Alright, the Schechter. This is the Hellraiser. Another beautiful guitar. Very beautiful. Quilted maple top. EMG humbuckers, beautiful inlays done, matching headstock. This guitar here has been really, really good. It's got locking tuners, no problems with the neck, having any problems, any cracking, active pickups. Did not change out the bridge. I still have the original. This is basically all original. This has got the push and pull. Turn them into single coils. Yeah, I keep I keep these inside of the case. Just in case when the humidity does get up a little bit uh, higher, that uh, there is no problems. I put locking strap locks on there. Make sure they say shallower on them because there's a lot of fake ones on eBay that are uh, just in a plastic bag. 
you don't want, you want to stay away from those if they say shallower like don't buy them shallower does not put their uh strap locks in plastic bags they're in a plastic formed hard plastic form see-through packaging with the name shallower going across them and uh yeah so make sure you get the real things the fake ones you're going to have problems with so put this one away into the next all right just imagine that epiphone case is not there i just had to move it to get it out of the way there is not an epiphone in that case trust me so this is my esp ltd blue quilted maple top now this is the one that has the fluoro special on it that i put the uh, eddie van halen detune on it the mh100 you see again matching headstock this has been one hell of a real good player uh, this guitar is not that expensive there it's an expensive guitar and uh, what I did with it is I removed the pickups that were on here uh, the what are the ESP designs or something like that and I put a set of Dragonfire um, they're basically the equivalent to the EMGs so this is now an active active guitar scarf joint didn't change out the tuner still has the ltd tuners on there but yeah this is a a fantastic guitar and i don't think this has to push me yeah, this doesn't have the push and pull on there but i changed out the pots in here with the drag the kit that comes with the dragon fire And again, these overall specs of these guitars are, are in different videos on my channel. You know, I don't like the center dots, but on this guitar here, I, I really don't care. It just it feels good when you're playing it. Uh, again, really never had any problems with this thing. It's been a wonderful, uh, wonderful guitar. So let's go see something else. All right, so, man, I'm sweating over here, just opening up all these cases. This is a Gator case, and inside this Gator case we have, this is my Squire Affinity P-Base and Candy Apple Red. And I changed out the pickups to Seymour Duncan's. For a Squire base, um, this thing is nice. This thing is really, really nice. Don't have any problems with anything on this guitar. One piece neck, open back tuners. Action's pretty low on it. The only thing I don't like is it's a pretty chunky headstock. But all in all, uh, this has been a very, very good bass. And you can see I got fingerprints on it from when I've been playing it. Reminds me I should start cleaning these things up a little bit before I put them back in their cases after I get done with them. No twist in the neck, no problems with the necks. Uh, nice action height. Yeah, I, it's, it's been a very good, for a Squire, it's been a very good base. Uh, all I really did with it was, oh, is there a mosquito in here? Mosquito. All I really did with this thing was change out the Seymour uh, uh, Dub, that. Change out the pickups to Seymour Duncan's. I'll get it right one of these days. So, next case is another base. And that, I believe, is my Ibanez. So, let's go to that one. All right, so another Gator case. I like these cases. Universal and, and actually protect pretty well all right so this is my Ibanez matching headstock quilted maple top a little bit of a burst around the edges now this is not an active guitar as far as the pickups goes this has what's called an active equalizer inside of it and uh, it works pretty good I picked this thing up used 
and used but not abused. Beautiful neck on this one too as well. This is the SR400 quilted maple. Stock tuners. Neck on this thing is, if I can get the camera in there. Or, fucking big ass neck. God damn it, I can't even fucking get the camera straight. The neck on this thing is straight. No problems with this thing. Fucking neck is too long on these bass guitars. Stays in tune. Um, no problems with it whatsoever. The active equalizer that's on here, you have a, uh, a low, mid, and high. And it does work. And it works pretty good. I mean, you can really give this thing a, a really, really low tone. Even on the higher strings. And uh, a real deep bass. I don't have it set up that way as far as, you know, the way I have the EQ set. But, yeah. Not a bad guitar. Again, these cases are, are really, really nice. There is a channel around the edges that uh, kind of fits into each other. And seals pretty well. I wouldn't say it's waterproof, but I don't know. So... I got one more case over here to get into and uh, this was the last of the 2018 uh, guitars that I bought um, well, let's get into it all right last but not least this is not an Epiphone that's inside here it's the only case that I had that actually fit this guitar So this is my ESP LTD Deluxe. This is the EC1000. Matching headstock, quilted maple top. Yeah, I got a thing for quilted and flame maple tops. EMG setups. This is not push and pull for oh, neck through. Locking tuners. active I think I said that this is one hell of a guitar uh, I left the bridge alone I didn't change anything out on this this is stock so yeah that's it and then I have a case over here that's for Les Paul that is empty that's one of the cases that the one of Chipsons came with. So that's it. I told you there wasn't an Epiphone inside here. So that's it. That's what I got left for 2000 uh, for 2018. So let me get into the little bit of a plan that I have for going on for 2019 so yeah going to the dungeon side of the laundry area of the basement Spurky. okay I'm headed to the office or workshop all right so that is the rundown for 2018 as far as guitars and I'm sure for 2019 I'll be getting some more now I mess around with them here and there, not uh, as much as I used to. The time and stuff like that has been kind of not on my side throughout the day. Seems like there's never enough time for anything anymore, and uh, you know I can't play with them all at one time. You know that's kind of physically impossible. But uh, yeah. So another thing that I ended up picking up for 2018 was a set of these Marshall headsets which you can pick these up, uh, I guess order them online from a bunch of different places. Uh, I picked these guys up for basically using with my cell phone. So when I do connect to my server, instead of using the little in-ear buds that come with the cell phone, which the sound quality is pretty good on those, um, I plug these things in and these also have the microphone and 
uh, not so much of a volume adjustment, but when you're taking a call, you can push the button on here. It's got a built-in mic. The sound quality of these things are really, really good. And when I picked these up, I thought I was buying the wireless ones. They're Bluetooth. They're a little bit bigger than these, um, but these work just as good. You know, I usually hide the wire through my shirt and uh, have my cell phone in my pocket and plug it in. And I listen to music when I'm working outside or doing, you know, doing whatever. Uh, sometimes just sitting around and I want to listen to some music and plug these things in as well. They're not bad. They're actually pretty decent. Um, they're kind of, you know, they kind of look like the actual Marshall uh, little amps, you know. They have the speaker mesh on the inside of here, just like the Marshall amplifiers would. Uh, and for a small little over-the-ear headsets, these things actually put out some big sound. Mids, highs, lows are very decent with these. Now, they're not as good as the Sennheiser. The Sennheiser headsets that I have, uh, I stick with them with only the computer, hooking them into my U, uh, UX2. Uh, they are not so much of a noise canceling headset. They have a cloth mesh over the top on the, the side of it, and uh, you can still hear a little bit of what's going on in the background. Not as much as you would think you get, you can hear, but you can still hear stuff. So if someone calls my name, I got the headsets on, at least I can hear them and go upstairs and take care of whatever I need to take care of. These guys here are pretty much, if you haven't fit over your ear, the proper, uh, the way that they're supposed to be on your ear, uh, they do cancel out a lot of noise in the background. And then one other thing that I ended up uh, obtaining for 2018 was the spare tire over here. And uh, that's going to be worked on for 2019. So what did I end up getting for the giveaway that I'm going to do for this year's giveaway, the first first giveaway of the year? Okay, now it's going to be basically the same type of giveaway that I did for the Secret Santa. I will put in the description, you know, the same thing that I put in the description for the Secret Santa giveaway. And uh, it's basically going to go by, you know, whoever sends me an email of uh, basically you know, name, address. That's about it. That's all I need. It'll be, you know, U.S. mail only. No overseas or Canada or anything else uh, shipping is like fucking nuts but uh, so what I ended up picking up well I picked up a Geo Ibanez guitar and this is it either what side I don't know what side it's going to be on but it'll be on one of my sides uh, pretty nice guitar uh, I read some good reviews about it and uh, even though it's a Geo uh, I picked it up anyways, got it brand new. And another one is a basically the same thing that I have sitting in a case uh, in the other room, which is the blue one that uh, I have the Dragon's Eye first of. That will be in the giveaway. So if you're interested, you know, when you see the video pop up about the, you know, first of the year giveaway, um, make sure you get out in on it and again the way that I'm doing the uh, giveaway is only by email not going to be you know numbers picking and shit like that I'm not gonna do anything like that basically I'm gonna take everybody's name throw it in a hat pull it out and who's ever uh, address matches with that name is gonna be the winner same thing what I did with the Santa Claus one or secret Santa that ended up not being too much of a secret you know thanks a lot UPS app but anyways uh, hopefully this time it works out the way I want it to work out but uh, had fun you know had fun the guy who who won it uh, you know he's really surprised and and very happy and you know that's cool that's what I'm here for as far as 2019 is gonna bring to my channel I don't know you know to be honest with you I really don't know and I do care, 
but not enough to worry about it you know uh, I'm sure I'll be doing more setups on different guitars I'm sure I'll be doing more fret leveling jobs um, all the videos that I have is basically for you know helping others you know if they need to help with uh, a certain project or something that they're doing on the guitar uh, hopefully I may have a video to cover that I think maybe I don't know I got a lot of videos I haven't kept track with every one of them so yeah, for right now, uh, the Ibanez S that I've been working on and is going to be done. Uh, I just got a package today from the uh, USPS. And I already know what this is. I ordered a couple of all parts. These are for the bass guitar, little thumb holders. So I ordered a couple of those and uh, I'll be installing one on don't know if I'm going to install one on the Ibanez, but I am going to install one on the uh, uh, P Base, and uh, they really do help with as far as me, you know, some place to put my thumb other than on top of the pickup. They really help a lot. I installed a couple of those on other bass guitars that I had in the past, and uh, to be honest with you, I actually like them. These are just the regular plastic ones, you know, with couples to come with a couple of screws, and uh, they're nothing fancy. They do have ones out that are made of uh, wood, you know, it could be oak or whatever. Uh, I don't really care for those too much. The plastic ones will suit me just fine. Anyways, so everybody have a, hopefully have a great 2019. And I will probably be doing my next giveaway more likely the same thing that I did uh, at the end of 2017 as a Secret Santa again. So... If you want to sub, appreciate it. Hopefully I can keep your attention and keep uh, uh, things interesting, I hope, maybe. We'll see, depending. I don't know. But the future brings what the future brings. So you guys take it easy, take care, have a good one, and I will catch up with all of you guys later. That's all, folks.